normally call him Silent Stan at Arsenal, which is rather disparaging, but he's not been very silent today. He made an offer of £600 million for the remaining shares of Arsenal. He's currently the uh, 67% majority shareholder of Arsenal, and he's had this to say this morning. He says, we at KSC, that's a Cronky Sports and Entertainment, are moving forward with this offer because leading to 100% ownership of the club. We appreciate Mr Usmanov's dedication to Arsenal Football Club and the story ethos and which the club and history represents. Now, on that point, um, him and Usmanov hadn't been getting on particularly well in the past. They each have been made, making noises that they want to buy out each other's share, but have been unwilling to do so. Last week, Us Usmanov hinted at the idea that he might be open to selling his share, but it wasn't clear at that point that it would be to to Stan Kroenke, but I, I guess Usmanov has, has relented and now it uh, appears that uh, Arsenal are going to uh, move forward and Kroenke is going to become the majority, uh, the overall shareholder. Is there a broader theme about Americans owning football assets because mm. we were just talking before about an American Pakistani owner of mm. Fulham. Absolutely. Is it sort of a trophy asset now yeah. to have a UK club? Uh, yeah, around the world the, the Premier League has been ballooned into this huge organization and foreign ownership is 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 nothing new the american glazer family owned manchester united john w henry uh, who also owns the boston red sox is in charge at liverpool as well and they got to the champions league final and, and have been spending heavily this summer uh, as well but Kroenke has said further in that statement that he wants to get arsenal back challenging in the premier league and into the Champions League and winning the Champions League. Now, the nearest they got was in 2006, they got to the final. That's the man who's in charge of Arsenal now, Unai Emery, not Arsene Wenger, which has become a, a statesman figure at Arsenal over the past two decades. He's ha had success in Europe with uh, Sevilla, won three Europa Leagues, but he's now charged with getting Arsenal back into the Champions League and as translating that success on the pitch. They've spent £70 million this summer, so the money has been there and they've got a rebuilding job because getting back into that top four in the Premier League, that all-important top four, which gets them into the Champions League, is going to be key for them. And Kroenke obviously thinks that, that by having 100% control of the club, by the statements he's making there, that he's got the tools in place to do it now. Um, I just want to look at the other side of this story. Why would Alicia Usmanov be selling at this point? Um, if he's as rich as everybody thinks he is, he doesn't actually need the money at this stage. Is this a reflection of um, Russian money not being welcome in the UK any longer? And if so, do we need to keep our eye on Chelsea and what Mr Abramovich might do after his recent visa problems? You, you make the exact point there about Roman Abramovich. It's been over a decade now. 2004 was when Roman Abramovich brought his millions to the UK and, and changed the whole face of the Premier League and, and what Chelsea did, caught the rest of the Premier League on the hop. Usmanov has really wanted to engage with Arsenal fans. He's there a lot more than Stan Kroenke is at matches and he's wanted to invest in the club and really open the purse strings really and, and invest in Arsenal and their fortunes on the pitch because, I mean, if you go down to the Emirates, they can cut frustrated figures there. And that obviously translates to what's been going on off the pitch. So whether or not that means that Russian money isn't welcome anymore, there's, there is evidence of that because Manchester City have seen such success with, their, with the, the money coming out of um, the Dubai royal family. So it's, it's an interesting state of affairs. American ownership, yes, as Karen pointed out, is absolutely right. But the Russian ownership hasn't really moved on from, from where it was after Abramovich and, and whether or not he even uh, gets a visa again is, is up, up for question. Chelsea, they haven't been spending much this summer a, a, at all and are looking pretty fragile. He's even shelved plans for their new stadium as well. So Arsenal haven't got new stadium plans to worry about. But at the same time, whether or not Stan Kroenke is going to have the riches and willing to invest that in Arsenal that Usmanov has, has now failed to do. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.